Hi there! Uh, I'm Nanuka. I don't know why I felt like saying this today. <laughs> For a while I was thinking of doing a soft pink look and it turns out that today is that day. This morning I swatched all the pink shades in my collection looking for a soft pink um, to apply on my lids. I wanted to do an all matte soft pink look with eyeliner and I also applied false lashes which is so unlike me. This is the look that I came up with and if you want to see how I did it then just keep on watching. I'm going to prime first using the Shadow Insurance eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna take a little bit of the product and tap it on my lid so my creation will last the entire day. Even though I'm not going anywhere, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to let this one sit for a couple of minutes before jumping into the eyeshadow. I have two, two palettes that I want to use today. So I swatched all the pink shades in my collection basically. And uh, the one that I stopped at is the Deuce palette by Juvia Sprays. I think this one might be discontinued. But it has this pink shade here which is obviously pink but not too bright at the same time. This is how it looks swatched. It kind of looks a little bit different on my skin. It's a, maybe a little bit lighter than in the pan. See how pretty. That's what I want. But I also will need some neutrals that I don't really have in this palette. I mean, I have some browns, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So, uh, the other palette that I'm going to use is again by Juvia's Place is the Taupes palette. I'm going to use these cool tones here and... Um, kind of do like a base transition uh, for the pink and I also want to use eyeliner so I have a liquid liner here and if I have enough time I want to apply false lashes as well I'm feeling dolly and girly and I want to look like extra pretty for some reason so <laughs> I think the primer had enough time to sit I'm going to pick up my Morphe M506 brush it's I think my favorite from my collection and uh, I'm going to pick this this shade from the Taupes palette and I'm gonna start the application from my outer corner doing little tapping motions this one is pretty light I don't want eyeshadows that are too dark I'm going to apply eyeliner anyway so the base of my lashes is gonna be black after all but I'm trying to build up this shade as much as I uh, can Starting from the other corner and then bringing whatever is left on my brush into my crease. And then I can kind of extend it towards my outer corner. Oh, I'm so happy that warmer weather is here. The lighting with the sun, I think it's so much better. I even though I have my ring light open as well. It does bring so much warmth into my videos and I love it. I don't know how to mimic that with... Um, studio lighting. I mean, I don't know basically anything about studio lighting. I just have a ring light. I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> okay, I think I have my base down. Let's apply the pink. So I'm going to pick up a fluffy but flat eyeshadow brush. I have a Juvia's Place 005 small buffer brush here. Let's see how this goes. I haven't applied pinks in such a long time. I'm gonna use tapping motions. Starting from the inner portion of my lid and kind of fade it outwards oh I love this so pretty okay my day is already better the power of pink <laughs> it still looks pink but it's not uh, too bright this is exactly the shade that I wanted so pretty I'm gonna pick my Morphium 506 again and kind of blend the edges just so uh, the transition and the pink kind of melt into each other. Okay, time for eyeliner. I'm nervous about this part for some reason. I'm using the Sephora Intense Ink Liner. I want a liner that's thin and a little long. Let's see, because with eyeliner you just have to be happy with what you end up with. Can't really have requests for eyeliner. <laughs> I'm starting here in the outer corner. And I'm doing a straight line towards my temples and then I'm connecting that to the outer corner of my lid. I'm keeping my eyes open in case I have some eye folds that I need to get over. I 
I am happy with this. I just hope that the other eye is going to turn out remotely similar <laughs> so I don't have to fix this masterpiece. I'm gonna apply some mascara before applying the false lashes. I have here the Maybelline Falsy Surreal Mascara, the newer one that I reviewed recently. And look what I have here, false lashes from Ardell. Uh, today I think I'm going to use the lift effect, the Sever 4-1 style. I'm not sure if I can film the lash application because applying lashes is just my biggest fear <laughs> cannot really do it properly so um, i might struggle and get out of frame but we'll see if i can film the process and if i can't it's just applying lashes we all struggle with it i think i'm gonna be using the dual lash glue the clear one because the black one gave me headaches during the years i mean i already struggle with false lashes application but if i attempt to apply them with black lash glue it's wear time applying a little amount of lash glue on the band this one is the quick set version i think yeah so it sets it, you don't need to wait a lot in uh, before applying them usually with the lash glues they have a dry time of like 40 to 60 seconds probably it's easier to apply the lash while the glue is a little bit tacky so it's not that wet i'm securing the middle first I'm actually sweating Huh? I think I got it. I got the other corner. This doesn't look bad. Oh, of course, the inner corner is lifting. I'm just gonna attempt to push it further into my skin, hoping that it will stick. The inner corner is always the issue with false lashes for me. Okay, face makeup. I want to use some lighter coverage foundation. I have the L'Oreal. Too Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum here, but it's a tiny bit too dark for me, so I'm going to use a bit of the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F2. Um, I'm just gonna mix them both on my hand, but I think I have to shake this one first a little bit. Maybe in summer this will be my right shade, even though I don't really get tan because I wear SPF 50 every single day. And look what I have here! It's a pink sponge. It's, it's just that it matches my eye look and that makes me excited. I'm gonna use tapping motions and blend this in. I don't think I ever mix these two actually. I always lighten the L'Oreal foundation with something else but I don't think I use the Revolution one until today. For concealer I'm going to mix two shades of the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. I have the shade Shortbread and the shade Swan. And I'm gonna apply a tiny dot of each. So here a little bit of swan and here a little bit of shortbread. And I'm gonna use the same sponge and blend these. This is very high coverage. I just applied a tiny amount and uh, it's a lot. <laughs> I think it's a little too much actually. I'm gonna use a bit of translucent powder. I have here my RCMA No Color and I'm gonna use a powder puff. For some reason I feel like going back to the powder puff these days. I'm gonna make sure there are no creases before I set and then I'm gonna do stamping motions and also drag the powder a little bit down to set my pores area. For bronzer I'm going to go for the Catrice Sun Lover. It's that time of the year when the shimmery bronzers are in. Oh, I love shimmery bronzers in summer. That's a little too much. I think I got too excited. I'm gonna go for a pink blush, the Essence, the blush in the shade 10. Yeah, I act like I have more options for blush. I mean, I think this is... It's not my only one, but it's the one that I use more, most often. Oh, but that shade from the Deuce palette, the one that I use on my eyes, is also so pretty as a blush. Why didn't I... Why didn't I go for that? Anyway. Next time. <laughs> I sometimes use that shade, even though it's an eyeshadow, I use it as blush. Because it looks so pretty on the skin. 
I think some eyeshadows can really work as blushes. I didn't find one that works good as like bronzer though, but for blush, definitely you can go for eyeshadows. And for highlighter, did you just assume that I was going to use the e.l.f. one? No, actually today I'm going to use the Becca C Pop. Um, is Becca still around? I think it's mixed with Smashbox or something like that, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is gonna go on top of my cheekbone, and this one is a little bit more blinding than the elf one that I usually go for. I'm gonna finish off the eyes with some inner corner color. I'm gonna use this shade from the Deuce palette. It is a shimmery light toned pink. Yeah, it definitely has a pink tone. It's such a lovely shade. And I'm also going to apply some mascara on the lower lashes. And lastly, the lips. I'm going to line them first with the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Truffle. I think I'm gonna need a restock for this soon because it's the only pencil that I'm using lately. And I'm gonna finish off with the lipstick that is discontinued but I feel like it's perfect for this look. It's the Sephora collection color lip last or something like that in the shade 7. It is a pink lipstick This smells like forest fruits, like raspberries. Mm, it's so lovely. I'm not sure if they discontinued the formula or just switch up the shades. The Sephora collection is doing a lot of changes yearly. Okay, I think this is a little bit more pink than I remembered it. But I'm going to apply a light, a light coat in the center and then do this thing and that is everything for today's video i hope you like how the look came out it's exactly what i imagined it to be so i'm pretty happy with the result i want to thank you so much for watching i hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you next time bye